Hey everybody, Harry here to talk about Jack Smith's subpoena to get at the bottom of what the White House was doing in trying to uh, further Trump's big lie in the post-election period. All right, so the latest reports uh, have him issuing a subpoena and also asking witness questions about the firing of Chris Krebs. Krebs was the guy who was the director of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. That's housed within the Department of Homeland Security, but the important point is he is the number one cybersecurity person in the administration. Trump actually installed him personally, but he turned out to be, of all things, a straight shooter and in the days after the election, he said flat out and in bold as the big lie was first beginning to circulate, nothing was wrong with the election. It was totally secure. There is no evidence that any voting system did anything to displace a vote. Uh, and he uh, put it out in emphatic form. Trump was enraged and fired him. Uh, six days later, just, just sacked him. Now, that itself is obviously part and parcel of Trump's whole actions post, uh, election. It also seems like, and, you know, you could take this as the opening of a whole enormous new front into the activities of the government to have reprisals against anyone who wasn't towing the line and the many things that the administration did. We should not read it this way. So that's, I was going to say, I don't think, but I'll, I'll be stronger than that. This is should not be taken as an indication that Jack Smith has all of a sudden uh, cast a wide net the way John Durham uh, did uh, a month ago over everything having to do with the election. And I think this little piece and the timeline helped Smith establish the overall state of mind, uh, motive, and course of conduct of Trump. So in other words, this is going to be, you know, a an entry kind of not on the top form uh, level of an outline, but down below, but just shows what he is up to, why he is up to it, and this firing is of a piece, but it's only as it fits into the crimes that Smith is investigating and preparing to charge that I think we should consider the subpoena. The other thing about the subpoena, the lead um, person that's been reported is Krebs, but it is it went to m former members of the White House personnel office and the White House personnel office itself. And it seems to me generally designed to get at not Krebs, but the whole um, improper, illegal, and possibly um, directed by Trump himself or very close advisors uh, efforts by the personnel office to first have what um, was called a loyalty list. So in other words, firing people who weren't behind the big uh, lie. Trump installed a, a very close a hack uh, who's, uh, who is, uh, you know, has been loyal to him for a long time to exercise that role. And one of the things they're asking about is how the White House happened to make contact with the Department of Justice and that is the first step in this whole separate January 6th case, but one we knew he was investigating and he should be investigating, namely the attempt to use the Department of Justice improperly and illegally to further the um, the efforts to reverse the election. So now we're talking about things like Jeff Clark, the, the mid-level guy who Trump wanted to make attorney general so that he would write a letter to Georgia saying the DOJ thinks what happened there was fraudulent so that uh, you know, this is Trump saying, just write this letter and leave it to the Republicans in Congress. 
you know, so that Georgia would be cowed and uh, try to send different electors there, et cetera. But that whole part, so part and parcel of what's being um, emphasized, the Krebs, uh, the, the the Krebs sacking is an overall effort to interfere with the Department of Justice. And that's down the middle, uh, a separate freestanding and important crime in the whole January 6th cluster. Looking and asking witnesses about the sacking of Krebs and looking and acting, asking witnesses about the outreach from the White House to the Department of Justice those are not uh, auguries of a whole big uh, expansion of this investigation, but rather narrow puzzle pieces to the actual crimes that he is looking at that that begin uh, just after the election period. Although the conspiracy, we we actually now have evidence, uh, may have started even before. Okay, so uh, another piece of the puzzle that he that Jack Smith is um, pursuing. Uh, and that um, uh, in particular leads to improprieties in the White House to further the big lie. Talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video and other Talking Feds content, please take a second to like and subscribe. Talk to you later.